Catsynth TV. Hey everybody, Catsynth TV. And today we are looking at the brand new OBXAV from Arturia. It is a recreation of the classic Oberheim OBXA synthesizer. We'll look at the history of the original, explore some presets, and use the full feature set to create our own sounds. But first, please subscribe to this channel for more synthesizer content coming out regularly. The OBXA was the replacement for the OBX, Oberheim's foray into more compact polyphonic analog synthesizers in the mode of the sequential Prophet 5. Unlike the OBX, which had a classic discrete SEM filter, the OBXA had a Curtis IC bass filter that gave it a different sound. They also removed the feature allowing cross modulation of the two oscillators, but they did add other features such as the ability to split the keyboard and layer voices on top of one another. And with the new filter, they were able to offer a four pole mode. The OBXA had a unique sound and was used by a number of artists from Laurie Anderson to Miles Davis to Gary Newman to Prince. The OBXAV recreates the look and sound of the original while adding a number of new features. There are the familiar sections for the two oscillators, filter, and envelope, an expanded LFO section with additional waveforms and modulation options, and a completely new arpeggiator section along with global vibrato. Arturia has also restored the cross modulation function from the OBX that was eliminated in the OBXA. We'll have some fun with that. Finally, there is a continuous mixer for the two oscillators and noise source into the filter, rather than the toggles of the original instrument. The OBXA is known for its string sounds, but it can produce a wide variety of classic analog subtractive timbres. Let's listen to a few more of the factory presets now. I couldn't resist that one. Okay, now let's build our own sound from the default template, which is a sawtooth on oscillator 1. The first thing we should do is enable the square and pulse wave.
OK, let's add Oscillator 2 into the mix. The OBXA is all about widening the sound of the oscillators. We can do that now by changing the pitch of Oscillator 2. Let's detune to expand the sound even more. Let's add some stereo widening to the oscillators. That's a new feature of the OBXAV. And now we'll use the LFO to add some pulse width modulation to both oscillators. Now that we have a really thick oscillator sound, let's turn our attention to the filters. Okay, let's switch to the smoother four pole mode. Yeah, that's starting to sound pretty sweet now. Let's continue to shape the sound with the amplitude and filter envelopes. I love how simple it is to design new sounds with the OBX8. Let's save what we've created so far. Okay, now let's have a bit of fun with the cross modulation. I really want to control the cross modulation with the mod wheel. In order to do that, we need to bring up the advanced pane. This brings up the modulation window. Here we see the various function generators as well as the modulation matrix. Let's go to the row for the modulation wheel and select a modulation destination cross mod. And let's increase it to 100 and let's play it. Now let's look at the function generators, which are stepwise functions that you can design yourself. Let's use function generator 1 to control filter cutoff. <sighs> of course we got to increase the amount to 100%. <laughs> There are several function preset generators available. Let's select one of them now. I like the rhythmic texture. Since the function generator is synchronized to the clock, let's change the tempo now. Okay, now let's look at the effects pane. Let's increase the chorus effect a little bit. Okay. 
The effects can also be controlled from the modulation matrix, so let's set the chorus to be controlled by the aftertouch. <laughs> It's a subtle effect, but something to work on. Let's go back to the effects and increase the delay. Let's set it to ping pong stereo mode. Okay, let's go ahead and save this one too. In this final example, we run two instances of the OBXAV, one with a disco preset and one with our new custom sound. Let's see what happens when we play them together. <laughs> For more information on the OBXAV, please visit Arturia.com and check out the description below this video. Thanks for watching. Check out more at www.catsynth.com and please subscribe to CatSynth TV.